Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the Z Show. I, I like to say that. Uh, so let's get into it. So, as a couple of weeks ago, I put a video saying George Floyd criminal record. I put it on there because it's free to see it. I put it on the YouTube page. And basically, I have like 98% that support that. And there, there are some people are calling me Uncle Tom. Why? Because I support common sense. Common sense. And I obey the law. Yes. You can call me Uncle Tom all you want. I support Donald Trump. I support the police officers. Yes, there are bad apples in the police department, but I'm not going to condemn every police officer in the country. And they are calling me Uncle Tom because I support Donald Trump. Why? Oh, because he is helping out the black community. Black unemployment was an all-time low. He gave black people more jobs. And when this virus hit, he gave money, stay with package. So all you naysayers are the people that support Black Lives Matter. I do not support Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is a farce. It all started in Ferguson, Missouri, where a thug beat up a police officer Struggle in the car, two shots are gone. He gets out, the police officer gets out of the car, the guy, Michael Brown, lunges at him, and he's shot. Justify it. Justify shooting. The jury found the police officer not guilty. And all in the world, the black, all the world, the knuckleheads, riot. So basically, they say, hands up, don't shoot, but hey, it was fake. And then you have the guy in uh, uh, New York say, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Well, if you could breathe, you should not be on a, hay- on a corner selling drugs. So, <laughs> people get with it. And now these two, George Floyd and uh, Richard, both of these individuals we're drinking like intoxicated. I mean, driving like intoxicated. Or under the influence. George Way was on meth and fentanyl. And Rashad was drinking and driving. Now, a lot of people say he was asleep. No, he was passed out drunk. Get it right, people. Get it right. <laughs> It's amazing to me that people don't complain about drunk drivers, but people are getting killed by drunk drivers every day in America. And I'm going to say this again. I said it once, I'm going to say it again. If these families care a lot about these people, they would have stopped them from drinking and driving, stop doing drugs, and start committing crimes. It's that simple. And by the way, President Trump is having a rally tomorrow, and I'm going to be supporting him. Go Trump 2020. He's going to win in the greatest landslide in history. Mark my words. I'm out. <laughs>